all new users of Filmora 9. This is Marvin in Marvin's Eyes, and I'm going to show you how to simply and basically use Filmora 9. Open your application that initially displays this. As you can see in the picture, you need to select the format of the video and then start a project. Now once you click open a project, this setup will be displayed on screen. You can either click import media files or media to be able to obtain files from your computer. Once you click either of the two, you will be directed to your media files and choose what to import. Once you have imported the media files, this will be displayed on the left screen of your Filmora 9. Drag all these files into the timeline and sequence them according to your video story. This time, you can see the media files are now in the timeline. To add music from your timeline, you need to click Audio in Filmora 9. In the absence of a preferred music, you can import music files from your computer. Please take a look at the arrows that demonstrate. After obtaining audio, the audio will be added to your other files. All you have to do is to drag this audio file down under the files that you dragged earlier. Once the audio file has been placed into its right location, you need to create text by clicking the titles. When clicking the titles, it will display the varied styles of titles for you to choose from. The arrow points out its appropriate location in the timeline. At this point in violet color, the title has been chosen and is dragged down into the timeline above media files. The chosen title when click will be displayed in both screens. So as it is demonstrated, both screens show the style of the title selected for you to create a text of your video. As soon as the style of the title is displayed in both screens, type your text on the left side of the screen and do some adjustment of the font. The font size, color or even the letters design. In this frame, you can see the color, size, form of the text, then click OK if your preferences have been met. Additionally, this tells the positioning of titles, video or photo files, music and voice over in the timeline. Take a look at the arrows. Now try extending by dragging the title's edge across the video. Then check how it looks like when all the layers have been placed together. The green arrows show where these are done. Repeat the steps to add more files in your video. Depending on your desired length and story, follow how they were originally arranged in the timeline. When everything is well edited, click export to finalize the video. The screen that comes out is shown with the type of video desired, the title of the video to be filled in, the settings of the video to be selected and then export. Finally, in exporting the video, another screen pops up to indicate how long the video will be processed before you can click to find your target. The target leads you to the document portion of your computer now with the instructions given and followed, let's watch the possible output of what we have done. Thank you for watching. This is Marvin and please watch the next episode on how to basically and simply place overlays in video using Filmora 9.